In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to make YouTube videos with your phone. But one thing I want to address real quick first is can you make YouTube videos with your phone? Because if you know anything about YouTube, you probably know it's pretty competitive. There's a lot of videos on this platform. And one thing I'm sure you don't want to do is waste your time making videos that nobody watches. Nobody wants to waste time, right? And if nobody watches your videos, then it would be a waste of time. So can you really make good enough videos with your cell phone that it won't be a waste of time? Can these videos really perform well on YouTube? Could they build a successful YouTube channel? Well, I would say that the answer is definitely yes. If you look back at the archives of most YouTube channels, you'll see that their first videos weren't very good quality. A lot of them were shot on old camcorders or even webcams. And today's cell phones can make way higher quality videos than those. In fact, I bet that there are some YouTube channels you watch right now that you don't even know they're shooting their videos on their phone. And I'll give you some examples of that throughout this video as well. Okay, so let's get into it and talk about exactly how to make a video on your cell phone. So obviously you have a camera app in your phone and you can use that in the video mode to record a video. But if you just have your cell phone and you just hit record right now, it's not gonna be as good of quality as it could be. And we wanna make these videos as good as we can, even though we're just using our cell phone. Beyond your cell phone, you'll probably want something to hold your cell phone on. In order to do that, you will need a little clip like this that is a mount for your cell phone. Uh, it expands so that you can put your cell phone into it, and then you can put this on top of some sort of tripod. Now, there are a lot of different options for tripods. Um, this one is a gorilla pod. It's really flexible. You can hold it in your hand, um, or you can stand it on a table or attach it to other surfaces, like wrapping it around a pole or something like that. That. Um, but I also want to mention that if you don't have any of these things, it's all right. You don't have to have a tripod at all. You could just prop it up against something and that can work too. It's just a little bit more difficult, but if you're on a budget, it'll get the job done. Beyond the gorilla pod, you also could just get some sort of tripod. This is a really cheap one that I picked up from Walmart for about $15 last year sometime, and it gets the job done, especially when you're just using your cell phone. It's pretty tough to put my big DSLR camera on top of here because it's not that sturdy um, and it can lean to the side a little bit, but for a light little cell phone, it works just fine. You can get tripods similar to this on Amazon. I'll leave one linked down below. Um, or of course, you can invest more money into a more heavy duty tripod, although it's not as necessary if you're just using your cell phone. Or finally, you could consider an option like this. This is called the Switch Pod, and it is great for vlogging, and you can easily transform it into a small tripod. Beyond something to hold your phone, you also may want a microphone. Now, because this is a cell phone, it has a pretty good microphone built into it, and so you don't need an external microphone. And in fact, a lot of the external microphones you might get might actually make your sound quality worse. It kind of depends on what your shooting environment is. If your room is really echoey or something like that, you might wanna try a microphone to see if that helps. It can, however, be difficult to attach a microphone onto your phone because it's a relatively small object, so you'll need to get a mount for the microphone to sit on. Another option is to use a lapel mic like this. The lapel mic actually clips onto you, so you don't have to worry about attaching it to your phone, and then you just plug it into your phone. Okay, so we've talked about something to hold your phone, we've talked about a microphone, there's just one other thing that you need, and that is lighting. Now lighting can be super simple, you could put your phone right in front of a window and shoot that way, and then the light from the window would hit your face, and you would look well lit, then you only need to worry about your background lighting. Now as long as your face is lit, you can leave your background dark if you want, and it can create a more moody vibe, which some people really enjoy, but if it's not quite the look that you want to go for, then you can add some lighting for your background to brighten things up and make things look a bit more cheery. Okay, so when you've got things all set up and you're ready to start filming, then you're going to be thinking about your settings in your phone that will control exactly how your video looks. The first thing that you're going to need to decide is whether you're gonna be shooting with your front-facing camera or the camera on the back of your phone. Now, if you're shooting yourself, it will be easiest for you if you're using your front-facing camera. On some phones, the front-facing cameras are great quality, but you might wanna test on your phone and see if maybe your rear-facing camera 
that is a lot better quality because in that case, you might wanna make that work. One way that you can make that work is by putting a mirror in front of your phone so that while you sit behind your phone, you can still see yourself in the mirror. That's just a little hack you can use. But if you determine that your front-facing camera is great quality, then go ahead and shoot yourself with your front-facing camera because it will be just a little bit easier. Now, if you have one of the newest phones, then your phone might have multiple lenses on it like this. And in that case, you can switch between more wide focus or more narrow focus. More narrow focus doesn't show as much of the edges of your scene, whereas wider focus, you'll see more of the edges of your scene. The next thing that you might want to control inside your phone is your aspect ratio, which is basically the dimensions of your video. So right now I have my video set in 16 by nine. So it means that it is essentially widescreen, but you could change that aspect ratio so that your video was a square, which you might want to do if you're going to share your video on Instagram, for example. However, right now we're talking about making YouTube videos and for YouTube, horizontal videos shot just like this in 16 by nine are always going to be best. The last setting that you might wanna control would be the stabilization setting. Now, this is a setting that is only in newer phones, but if you are going to be shooting any handheld shots, like if you're going to be shooting some extra B-roll shots for your videos, where you're going to be moving around, or if you are going to be shooting yourself with your front facing camera, um, but you're gonna be walking in the shot, then you'll want to turn on this stabilization feature. On my phone, the stabilization feature is right here and I can turn it off or I can turn Super Steady back on. And you'll be amazed how stable this new Super Steady feature really can make your shots. Okay, so we've talked about your equipment, your audio and your lighting, and now you're ready to shoot your video. One of the main things you need to pay attention here is your frame composition. So that basically means what is in your shot. You need to make sure that it looks balanced, that you are in a good place in the shot if you're in the shot, uh, and just that it, of course, looks level. We don't want your shot to be crooked. So once you've got your frame composition right, then you're ready to actually start filming. Now, as far as filming with your phone goes, that's pretty much all there is to it. But beyond that, all of the same things that apply to making good YouTube videos still apply to making videos with your phone. You need to make sure that your videos have a good structure, that they are interesting and entertaining, and that they're on a topic that people are actually interested in. Those things are the same, whether you're shooting with a phone or with a camera. Okay, now in this last part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your videos on your phone. There are a lot of different apps out there that you can use to edit videos on your phone, but one of my favorite options is Adobe Premiere Rush. So this app allows you to do everything that you need to do in order to edit a great video. You can select different short clips that you've recorded on your phone, then you can add them to a timeline, you can play them on the timeline, you can crop these clips so that you are only seeing a part of the clip in the video. Of course, you can stop it and play it over and over again to see how it's going. You can also add graphics such as titles and other text or other graphics that you've created separately or have purchased. Of course, you can edit those titles and add them to the video wherever you like. You can also move them around, although I don't show that right here. And then you can zoom in on the timeline. I love this feature because it allows you to really do more detail work um, and get things exactly how you want. Um, you can also add transitions between the different clips that you've recorded just to uh, add that effect. And you can also um, mute the clips or change the audio levels. And then you can add other media such as songs or other audio tracks to your video to make them a little bit more dynamic and more interesting to watch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but they won't hear it. I just wanted, I just, <laughs> what have I made? <laughs> okay. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, you can easily make YouTube videos on your phone with very little additional equipment. And these videos can be great quality. If you wanna make YouTube videos with your phone, it's quite possibly because you want to start a YouTube channel. I have another video all about how to start a YouTube channel on your phone, including how to actually upload these videos that you've created to your new channel. You can find this video by clicking that link up there in the corner or clicking the link down below. Like I said, the video is called how to start a YouTube channel with your phone. 
Once you start your channel, the next step is getting views on your videos. As I mentioned before, YouTube is a pretty competitive place. And so if you just put videos up on the platform, it can be difficult to get any sort of traction. So I put together a free workshop that will teach you how to get views on YouTube with zero subscribers so that you can start growing your channel right from the start. If you're interested in signing up for this free workshop, then just click the link down below to register and watch it on demand. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you are going to make videos about and whether or not you've already started your channel. Of course, if you're new to my channel and you wanna see more videos like this in the future about entrepreneurship, success, and YouTube, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I make new videos every single Tuesday. And if you wanna be notified when the next video comes out, then make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss it. Okay, well that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.